So we are given the maximum curvature radius is r of the cyclotron. So it's going out when the radius is r. We need to find the kinetic energy of the proton. So kinetic energy clearly is half mv square and velocity is mv by qb. So from here, because we are given r and not v, we find the value of v and put it here. So we will get our answer. That is the kinetic energy of the escaping electron. Second is asking what is the minimum frequency at which the kinetic energy of the proton amounts to t. So if kinetic energy is given, what should be the minimum frequency? So kinetic energy t is equal to half mv square. So v, uh, we can write as omega r and omega is again 2 pi f. So we replace v by 2 pi f r. We get this. From here, we get the frequency as 1 by 2 pi r root 2 t by m, which is our answer. Now, why did he say minimum frequency? It's because any frequency less than that, it will see, suppose, here it is escaping, here it's starting, right? So right now, the frequency which we calculated is, so when it comes back here, it changes back to normal. Again, when it comes back, it again changes back to normal. That is the frequency. If it is any less, then by the time it comes back here, it will not change. So here and here, field will be same, in same direction. So whatever acceleration it gains here, it will retard here by the same amount. So kinetic energy gained here will be lost here. So the that's why we cannot have any less frequency than that. However, we can have more frequency. So we can have double the frequency, then it's fine. So instead of switching from, uh, from this end to this end, it can switch two times in between also and then get back to the normal. So suppose it is up here and it becomes down here. This is the minimum frequency which we calculated. So up here and down here. This will also work. Up, down, up and down. So that is double the frequency and still the electron gets accelerated in both cases. In less frequency what will happen? In Right now it is up here then down here. In less frequency it will be up here and by the time it reaches here it is still up. So whatever it gains it will lose here. So hence this is the optimum frequency for the oscillator. It can have the integral multiplication of these values that is also okay but it cannot be less than that yeah